Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to Straight Up Sports with your host, Josh Straight Up. And today, I'm absolutely about to ruffle some feathers. Mr. Aaron Rodgers. Why does every single network label him, he's a bad man? He was a bad man in 2008 to 2011. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, he joined the league in 2005, sat behind Brett Favre until about 2008. He won the Super Bowl in 2011. Then he starts smelling himself, turning into an absolute diva. Yeah, I said it. And since then, that man has been the NFL version of Russell Westbrook. Yeah, I said it. Ooh, wee. That's right. He put up all these stats, and then he chokes in the big game. What do you say, Mr. Straight Up? He said Aaron Rodgers is absolute dumpster juice. You are absolutely dumpster juice. <laughs> dumpster juice. Dumpster juice. That's right. The next time he went to the NFC Championship game was the 2014-15 season and got smacked by the Seattle Seahawks. Then he went to the NFC Championship game again in 2016-17 season, got dominated, absolutely smacked around by the Atlanta Falcons, 44-21. Then Took him another three years before he would reach an NFC Championship game again. He lost in 2020-20 season to the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah, I said it. He lost again. He lost again. Then, in a 2020-21 season, he lost to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And Tom Brady. Now, I don't understand why we put him on a pedestal. This man, that bad man, no, Aaron Rodgers is softer than soggy, fruity pebbles. Yeah, I said it. I said it. He is a diva, grown-ass man that be posting subliminal tweets, huh? Going on a Pat McAfee show. Yelling out subliminal messages. Last year, we watched Aaron Rodgers literally push one of the best wide receivers away. See, Devontae Adams didn't know if he was going to be there or not. And why am I going to stay in Green Bay if they in a rebuild phase? So all his little diva antics, his soft antics, push one of the best wide receivers away. Then what do you do? He decided not to come to training camp like the rest of everybody, knowing that he had wide receivers that was brand new. And what did he do for the majority of the season? Get to whining and crying, oh, our receivers aren't good enough and this, that. We did it. Whining and complaining and pointing the finger at his daggone receivers. Then those receivers turned into great players. Those receivers start doing a dang thing. And then who was the reason they lost? It was absolutely Aaron Rodgers. And now, let's not mention, while he was doing all that whining and crying, they re he ended up re-signing. Yeah, they paid him three years, $150 million. Do y'all know that since Aaron Rodgers been in Green Bay, since his career started, that man has made over $305 million. And I didn't even count the sponsorships and all that. So you mean to tell me we putting all our money into you and every single time you get to a big game, you choke. Yeah, I said it. It's time for us to stop labeling Aaron Rodgers that bad man. We need to start labeling Aaron Rodgers exactly what he is. What is he, Josh? He's absolutely... You are Absolutely. Dumpster juice. Dumpster juice. Yeah, I said it. It's your boy Josh Straight Up. Straight Up Sports. Please make sure you subscribe and tap the bell. And I'm out.